Okay, let's start chapter 7. It is uh, Java Basics and uh, we start the quick chapter summary. So, in the first uh, point, it is introduction to Java. So, Java language, it was uh, developed by the Sun Microsystems in the 1991. Right, after that, it is the uh, Java, it is the uh, small, efficient and uh, easily portable to the wide range of hardware devices. Right, so it is uh, ideal language for distributing executable programs by using the world wide web right and it is uh, a general purpose programming language and uh, easily usable and portable across the different platforms right so and java classes are the part of the jdk it is java development kit so why java is uh, platform independent one graph is given First one, Java program or the source codes. After that, compile into the machine language. It will compile the program. After that, Java virtual machine JVM code. It will generate a byte code file. Right? And the Java interpreters for the Linux and the Win Java interpreter for Windows and Java interpreter for Macintosh is uh, available. And then you can convert the java source code into the program by using the particular interpreters right so linux windows or macintosh so java compli compilation process compilation process is given first one you have to write a java source code right it's source file usually its extension is dot java next one by using the java compiler the source file using the java compiler it is j-a-v-a-c and compiler creates a file with the extension dot class right so java bytecode file and the last one it is run the application using the java interpreter for windows linux or for the macintosh Right, so this is the compiled Java compilation process. After that, uh, in the 12 standard, we use uh, one text editor that is Skype. And how to download this uh, Skype text editor? One video I have already created, so you can download it from this Skype text editor and uh, refer, refer my video. Right, then create the java applications by using this text editor skite and if you want to st uh, start the skite application right and go to the file and you uh, file and new and type the java program right after that save it with the extension dot java right and if you want to compile the source program then go to the tools and compile and the shortcut key is control f7 right and if program is compiled without any error then it will execute it by using the tools and go or the shortcut keys f5 so the structure of the java program it is in the java program text in the angular bracket right it is used as a placeholder right and java consists of the functions header and sequence of the different statements enclosed between the curly brackets right so and then this is the structure first of all you have to define that public class and then write the class name start the curly bracket after that or you use optional uh, variables declarations and the different methods you add right it is a public static void main string args and write your statements with the curly bracket and write the source codes or the statements right either you define the this optional variables uh, declarations and method on the top section or in the bottom section right so this is the structure of java program after that what is variable it's a variable it is uh, used to refer the data store in memory is called variable and the syntax is data type name and write variable name and these are the some examples 
right integer it is the data type and max it is your variable name float rate character grid right so these are the examples of uh, variable then you have to strictly follow the different rules to define variable name right and it must begin with alphabet underscore or the dollar sign right no spaces are allowed in variable name right so this is the one example right so this is not a correct variable name right so it cannot be reserve word like class public static if else and the different others it is used by java itself okay legal variable names are given birth underscore date result call cost top five students date and dollar sign price these are the variable or the legal variable name and these are the illegal variable names like 4me then percentage discount or birth space date after that there are some guidelines related with the naming variables right first of all choose meaningful variable names after that java allows variable names of any length refer to as the camel case right birth then uh, second word first letter is capital that is d birth date call cost second word first character is capital so this is the example of camel case after that separate words with underscore right and java is case sensitive case sensitive right so upper case and lower case upper case and lower case considered to be different right name of the classes to begin with upper case and names of the variable and of methods begin with lower case variable types there are three kinds of variables right instance variable class variables and local variables after that literals right so literals a name used for the constant value it is known as literal right and available literals in the java for the number character string and boolean and there are four types of literals first one it is numerical literals boolean literals character literals and string literals after that what is in the numeric literals numeric uh, and in the numeric literals first one it is integer literals second one it is the real number literal so what is in that uh, integer literals store the whole numbers right java allows the decimal number system that is its base is 10 octal number system its it base is 8 hexadecimal number base is 16 and unicode integer literals and in the decimal 0 to 9 octal 0 to 7 hexadecimal 0 to 9 and a to f what is in that real numbers floating point literals there is two types of uh floating point literals standard and scientific right so and these are the example 12.37 and the different other examples are given here after that what is in that boolean literals there is there are two types of uh, boolean literals right first true and false right in the c programming zero it is treated as a false and non zero value it is as a true and in the boolean literals default value is false what is in that character literal right so character literals it is uh, surrounded by the single quotation mark right example a hash or 3 right characters are stored in the unique uh, 16 bit unicode character sets right and certain special characters have the special literals that have uh, that use a backslash it is called escape character right and if you want to add the new line use slash n if you want to add tab use slash t if you want to add form field use slash f and backspace slash b and carry as return for slash r 
okay then string literals so what is in that string literals the first one is the string literals are the sequence of characters and it is enclosed with the double quotation marks right an example is hello and next one it is computer with the kedar sir okay then next one it is comments right comments in the program it is the human readers only right and java supports three types of comments single line comment use double forward slash sign multi line comments forward slash asterisk write your comments and close it with us asterisk and forward slash then third one it is documentation comments it is the forward slash double asterisk write your comments here and then close it with the asterisk and the forward slash data types uh, java support eight primitive data types right and <coughs> the next one it is uh, string string literals and uh, string literals it is the sequence of characters and it is enclosed with a double quotation marks right an example is uh, hello right and next one it is the comments uh, comments of the program for the human readers only right and java supports the three types of uh, commands the first one it is single line command you use double forward slash sign after that second one it is the multi line command you use forward slash asterisk and then write your commands here and then close it with the asterisk and the forward slash next one it is the documentation commands it is uh, we use the forward slash double asterisk and write command and then close it with the asterisk and the forward slash right after that data types there are eight primitive data types available in the java programming byte short integer long float double character and boolean first four byte short integer longs are the integer it will store the integer values float doubles it will it is the float and it will store the floating point value after that character right and the single unicode characters you can store after that boolean and it stores true or false logical value operators are the special symbols it is used to build an expression that right? so you can do, uh, build expressions uh, then we use this operators arithmetic operators uh, comparison operators logical operators conditional operator and assignment operators so what is in that arithmetic operators we use uh, basic arithmetic operators like plus minus right multiplications division and the modulus symbol right all these operators are the binary and take it takes the two operands right they use uh, you can used for the byte short integer long float and in the double right and these are the some examples of the operator its meaning right operator its meaning examples and the result Okay, and then increment and the decrement operators. It is very useful in the Java programming operators. Plus plus, it's uh, it will adds the one to a variable and uh, double has it is a subtract one. And plus plus sign it is increment operator which adds the one and uh, da dash dash right it is a decrement operator which subtracts minus one. Right. and these are the some example plus before the variables plus plus and uh, then it is pre decrement right after that up, uh, after variables post decrement then before variables pre decrement after variable post decrement to that comparison operators uh, it will compel compare right the different uh, values right comparison operators it is known as the relational operators and these are the operator names and its meaning right greater than less than greater than equal to or the less than or equal to and this is the double equal to and not equal to after that logical operators it's uh, known as the boolean operators right logical operators are and or x or it is uh, uh, exclusive or or not right and these are the different uh, operators right its sign is very useful 
right and use right we use the signs for the and the bulb uh, piping symbols it is for the or then the uh, next symbol it is uh, the caret symbol right it is used to uh, x or n exclamation sign it is for the not operator then conditional operators the conditional operator it is known as the ternary uh, ternary operators and conditional operators use the three operands right it takes two symbols right question mark and the column in expression the syntax is given w in expression right and then question mark expression 1 column expression 2 and here one example is given max it is greater than is equal to 35 then it will display pass or fail right so this is the expression 1 and this is the expression 2 after that assignment operator in the java programming as is equal to sign operator it is referred to as a assignment operator to assign a value to the variable by using assignment operator right and the syntax is given variable right variable name is equal to sign and the expressions right and these are the some examples a is equal to 5 rate is equal to 50.50 .50, balance uh, is equal to balance minus cost after that loopings are given java supports three types of looping construct for loop right entry control or the pre-test loop constructs right for the loop are executed if condition is true and it is used when the number of uh, iterations are predefined after that while loop it is uh, entry control or the pre-test looping construct right and loops are executed if condition is true then right? it is used when the uh, number of iterations are not predetermined after that do while loop exit control or the uh, post uh, test looping constructs it uh, uh, repeats the loop if the test condition is true and here statements of the loops are executed at least once right and the break statement it is used to transfer or the control outside switch or the loop construct that it is used to exit the loop and it jumps the outside the nearest loop containing this statement right after that what is in that continue statement it is used to skip the following statement in a loop and continue with the next iteration okay so this is the end of chapter number seven summary